Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters episode review. This time I will be reviewing episode 4 of the subbed original Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want to watch this episode, I will have it linked down below in the description. I apologize for not doing these legacy episode reviews for the past couple of weeks. I went on vacation, and then I got sick when I was on vacation, and I wasn't really feeling up to making a lot of videos. That's why I haven't really been doing videos really at all the last two weeks. If you look, I haven't really uploaded much, but that will change. I'm feeling much, much better now, and so we are going to get right into it. Episode 4 of Duel Monsters, and every, I don't want to say every Thursday, but almost every Thursday, uh, I will be reviewing an episode of the old Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters series. And before we get into it, I do like to go over some changes between the English dub and the subbed version, since I will be reviewing the subbed version. Uh, so in the subbed version, Weevil, or Insector Haga, as he's known in the Japanese version, had knowledge of the rules, and the rules being about the different fields and how you get bonuses if your monster types match what field you're dueling in. He had knowledge of those rules because Pegasus told him as a reward for winning the regional championship, but in the English dub, Weevil stole the rule book. So, I mean, I guess I know what the English dub was trying to do. I feel like he's already such a hated character. They probably didn't need to add insult to injury, but obviously they just wanted the Watcher to hate Weevil even more for cheating and stealing the rule book, but interestingly enough, that was not how it was originally written. Uh, in the Japanese version, the episode ends with Yugi's attack. In the English dub, the episode ends with Weevil gloating, talking about how he's going to win. And this is a bit of a difference, actually, between the manga of Duel Monsters and even the Japanese version uh, in and the dub. Actually, all three of them are kind of different. Yugi only has one star chip and Weevil has two. So Weevil says, why am I going to duel you? You only are wagering one star chip. What else are you going to wager? And in the manga, Yugi wagers his life and implies that he would commit suicide if he loses. Uh, in the Japanese version, Yugi does call this a live-or-die match, so he might have been implying that he will commit if he loses, but it definitely wasn't as, um, I guess, overbearing as the... Ja I mean, in the manga, it literally, like, he was going to kill himself, and that never was stated officially in the anime and then in the English dub all of this is removed and he bets his grandpa's deck instead uh, so obviously they're not gonna you know have that in the English dub so those are some actually really interesting differences between this episode in the sub and the dub and what did I think of this episode I've said it before I think Weevil might be in Sector Haga might be the most hated character in all of Yu-Gi-Oh I really cannot stand this guy and so the second we get to the island you know this duel is gonna happen Pegasus comes out, he talks about the rules, and I think it's so funny that when you look at the, the crowd of people, you know what characters are going to be important. Like, we see Mako Tsunami, like, we know he's going to be an important character. Whatever character has a non-generic design, we know we're going to see them at some point in the future, and they are going to be important in this tournament. Like, Bandit Keith, I'm pretty sure we saw a quick glimpse of him. And so Pegasus goes over the tournament, and they all begin. And Yugi and a lot of people are wondering, why does Pegasus need such a big island for this tournament? And of course, Insector Haga knows the answer because he won regionals and he was able to get that information from Pegasus as a reward for winning. And so Haga runs away from Yugi and the Yugi and the group chase after him. And really Haga is baiting them to go into a jungle field or a forest field. And every monster in this field gains a 30% attack point boost if the monster is a bug type monster or an insect type monster. And of course... That's all of Weevil's deck. He runs an, an insect deck. So again, it, it's just, <laughs> you really hate Weevil because not only did he destroy Yugi's Exodia cards, obviously, but now instead of, you know, facing th the man that he literally just destroyed the cards of, he runs away and he seems like a coward and he still is a coward. He literally baits Yugi, traps Yugi into dueling on this, this field that gives him a bit of an advantage. Now, the one thing that I really did not like about these fields, and for some reason I remember them being more whole numbers, and I guess I'm just used to whole numbers with Yu-Gi-Oh!, is you get a 30% monster attack boost if your monster is an insect or so I actually have the list here. If your monster is beast, beast warrior, dinosaur, insect, plant, rock, and zombie, you all get a 30% point field 
power bonus. And what I don't like about that is it leads to some really unusual attack points. Like at one point, Mammoth Graveyard and Killer Needle, I think when they crash and kill each other, they each have 1,560 attack points, which is just a very weird number. And I like whole numbers, and maybe that's a little bit of an OCD thing there, but I wish instead of a 30% field power boost, you got like a 400 attack point boost. I think that would have been a lot more sensical and you wouldn't have had weird monsters i think at one point like basic insect has what 2150 attack points yugi's griffor at one point gets like 1950 attack points like there's it's just a lot of weird numbers and when you're like me and you're used to whole numbers the entire time it, it just it throws you for a loop so that was something that again maybe I'm blaming my OCD there that I didn't love that I wish and I for some reason I remember it being like a 400 or 500 attack point bonus I don't remember it being 30% but that's what it is 30% so obviously the stronger monster you summon if they get a boost then they're gonna get more of a boost if they have more attack points because you're taking 30% of their attack so at the end Weevil in, entirely loads his field up he's got I think five monsters on his field Yugi has just played Dark Magician face down and Yugi activates mirror force when Weevil is attacking ready to pretty much destroy Yugi ready to end the duel also with these rules monsters cannot attack each other directly so that's another interesting rule that's going to take me a while to get used to uh, so Weevil would not have actually won he goes to attack Yugi's face down dark magician card uh, and even though Weevil had five monsters it didn't matter because he can't attack directly he Yugi activates Mirror Force. I felt like we were watching Revolver, but, you know, Yugi is the OG user of Mirror Force, and if you don't get that Revolver, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains reference, but uh, Yugi uses Mirror Force, destroys Weevil's entire side of the field, and damage gets inflicted to him too, which I guess was an effect that Mirror Force had in the anime that I don't remember Mirror Force having in the anime. I think they probably changed, well, they definitely changed that effect in the anime because when it was used in Vrains, it did not have that effect. I'm not sure if it has that effect post Duelist Kingdom because I think Yugi does use it in Battle City. I don't think it has that effect where it actually, where it actually inflicts damage along with destroying all the monsters. But again, Duelist Kingdom, anything goes. I love it. So Weevil goes down to, I think, like a weird 500 number. It's like mid-500s, if I remember correctly. And that is the end of the episode with Yugi confidently staring on. So Yugi gets the better of Weevil, and obviously the way episode 3 ended, Weevil got the better of Yugi by tossing Exodia in the ocean. So it's nice to see this episode that Yugi gets the upper hand. And going forward... What's going to happen in this duel? Very excited to see. I mean, of course, we know if we've watched the show, but I'm very excited to see uh, episode five. So this was a cool episode. Weevil being, you know, a, a conniving SOB, but just seeing Yugi play Mirror Force at the end was completely, completely worth it. Not a huge fan of the the field boost, mainly because not the I'm not I don't have a problem with the concept. I just have a problem with the fact that it's 30 percent because again it leads to some very unusual numbers, but. I mean, what are you going to do? And another funny thing is, I looked up the screenwriter for this episode. The screenwriter for this episode is Shin Yoshida. It's crazy that that man has literally been doing Yu-Gi-Oh! for so long. I didn't think he had anything to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! until Season 4, the Seal of Horikalkos arc, but he has been on the Yu-Gi-Oh! staff since the very very beginning, which is just insane, but that's a bit of a fun fact. If you don't know who Yoshida is, he's the main writer for, he was the main writer for Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, and now he's the main writer for Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. I think he's been involved in every Yu-Gi-Oh! except Arc 5, so interesting fun fact there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video right there. Please let me know all your thoughts on episode 4 of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Let me know what you thought, and let me know if you don't mind the 30% field power boost, or if you wish it was maybe a more, like, you gain 400 attack, or you gain 500 attack, you know, it was something more whole number like that, or if you don't mind it and you think the, the weird numbers are cool. Uh, so I spent way too much time talking about weird numbers in this review. A uh, big thank you to my platinum tier patrons, Alexa Baker, Christopher Johannes Bosca, Glenn McCook, and Jorge Carrillo, D01, and James Rose, and to my diamond tier patrons, Solid Snack, and Boulder Geist. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who supports me over on Patreon. Thank you all for watching this review. I will see you next Thursday for episode 5's review of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. Until next time, I'll talk to you down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.